Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I'm going to be showing you a little bit about the liquify effect and a few of its features. Um, I did this thing really quick. Uh, it kind of looks Batman symbolish. Not really what I was going for, but I just decided to do something really quick. Anyway, if you want to learn how to do it, um, first I start off with this black circle, right? Putting into my effects panel the liquify effect and throwing it on there. Okay. So there's a bunch of little features you can use with the liquify effect. This is the warp tool. Uh, I use it a lot. Um, I'm also going to be looking at the twirl tools, the pixel tool, and the bloat tool. Okay, so we start with the warp tool. If you look at the brush size, that's pretty self-explanatory. It's how big your brush is. You know, same thing if you're working in Illustrator or Photoshop or whatever you use. Um, let me go ahead and keep that a relatively smaller size. Um, yeah. You see, if I push down into the circle right here, it makes a small little dent. Um, the brush strength is what you want to adjust if you want to uh, affect more of your canvas or more of your mesh. Um, if you bring it up to like 100% and you know you drag it down, then it's going to make it a lot bigger of a dip. And really, you just want to go ahead and adjust that to what you want it to be. I'm going to go ahead and keep it at around 80. So I showed you a little bit about this. Uh, using the warp tool, basically, uh, you drag any part of your mesh, and you can go ahead and pull it out, or push it in, or really into your canvas, whatever you want. It's a uh, pre-manual setting. Just click and drag. Okay, next we're going to be looking at the twirl tool. Uh, there are two different twirl tools. Uh, the way you use it is you go up to your screen and you just hold down for like a couple seconds, right? Hold down for a few seconds and it'll automatically do this twirling motion. Um, yeah, there it is. Um, this is really good if you want to do like waves and stuff, like watery effects, which a lot of people use the liquify effect for. Uh, this is the other twirl tool. This one is pretty much the same, except, you know, instead of moving in more of a uh, clockwise rotation, it moves in a counterclockwise rotation. Uh, just really for whatever you go into. But this can be really handy if you use it the right way. Um, Next, I'll be looking at the bloat tool. Uh, it's pretty easy. It's kind of the same thing as the twirl tool, except you hold it down for a few seconds, and instead of twirling it around, obviously, it uh, kind of bloats everything out. It uh, adds more pixelization and kind of bulges your image around where you want it to be. The next is the pixel move tool. Um, this one's really extremely helpful. Um, you grab one part of your canvas mesh and you just literally drag it onto another side of it and it will just move the part that part of your mesh onto where you drag it to. It's extremely helpful, especially if you want to add some motion into your uh, liquify effect, which most likely you'll want to do. And we'll go over that in a minute. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the pixel move tool. Um, I think I showed you enough of that. Uh, these are the different keyframes you can do, uh, different stopwatches. Uh, you have distortion mesh, which is really helpful um, if you want to, you know, switch around your canvas a lot. And um, but that's why I'm not. That's not what I did for this one. I'll show you what I did for the little video that I had. What I did instead was the distortion percentage. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and flip my distortion percentage to zero after logging in this keyframe right here. Okay. Um, I'm going to flip it to zero and as you can see it just takes all my distortion out and pretty much turns off my liquify effect, right? Well I'm going to go ahead and put a few seconds in and I'm going to put it as a 200% distortion which kind of makes my edges a little bit smoother and as you can see kind of makes the you know extrusions bigger and the contrusions a lot deeper. And then uh, I'll just add and our key friend to put it back to normal. Throw that on the loop and it gives you the video I already had. Alright, well, alright, well, there it is. Um, anyway, I really hope this helps you out with your current and future projects, and thank you for watching.